so I've been using this mechanical keyboard that I got from Toko Video for $15 for about 3 months now. And I've gotta say, it's a really nice keyboard for $15. I got this exact keyboard because my Razer mechanical keyboard died. It was the Black Widow version 2016 or something and it just failed on me and at that time I really didn't want to spend any more money on mechanical keyboards as I'm about to move out of this country so I don't want to burden myself into carrying more bulky and heavy mechanical keyboards I just got a really like light plastic one so I looked at the weight of this keyboard and it's incredibly light that's why i bought it and the price is only 270,000. but when i got it it was 250,000. it hasn't been popular at that time yet that's, therefore it was extremely cheap and for 15 dollars bro this can beat like most of the chinese brand that you can find on banggood or even aliexpress my average typing speed on this keyboard is about 80 words per minute as it otemu brown switch is actually quite nice and it's quite sturdy and you do get a uh, key switch pullers if you want to change out the keycaps if you want to make custom keycaps or something for $15 and you can interchange the keycaps and it has lighting that is neutral and not RGB I know the one I showed in the previous video I mean the previous cut was like some fake ass RGBs but this one there's a white LED version of it to get this version instead of the RGB version because this just looks more professional and looks more clean not some like childish RGB crap yeah so this is the review on my digital alliance with Hello keyboard uh, uh, for $15, it doesn't get any much better than this, honestly, bro. There's dedicated media function, a lock mode, a gaming mode if you want to lock your Windows button. Also, there's many, many functions, and you can control the lighting from here, from the INS key. You can do this. There are about, I'll say, five modes that is really different from the other one, because most of the effects are just recycled, like this one, and this one, and this one is just crazy. This one's just, you know, boring. And that's recycled again. And this is just off. I'm just kidding. And this one's pretty cool, it's flashy and all, but who's really gonna notice it when you're just home alone, you know? So I just keep mine on, because at night I like to type in the dark. I don't know, it just gives me comfort. And the lighting is, uh, it's not that bright, but you know, it's for $15, who can complain? And, but I do, what I don't like about this is that when I turn off the lights, such as so, the fonts, I mean the, the fonts on the keyboard is actually blue. Like you can see, it's blue. It's just very ugly, extremely ugly. Blue is just not a good color to put on. I wish they just put it as transparent or something because blue just looks very bad with black so would I recommend this keyboard for anyone? of course I would this is an amazing keyboard for $15 and if you get it if you're lucky you can get it $13 at Toko Video which is insane dude so yeah that's my review for my Digital Alliance Mecha Fighter I think this is the name yep thank you for watching